Hello watcher and subscriber in this uh, tutorial we focus on very important topic and the today's topic is how to use open board software and this is very useful if you are making online tutorial or if you are taking the virtual classes by using google meet or zoom app then this tool is very important if you are a math teacher by using this software you can easily take effectively classes so straight away uh, we will see which software we need for taking the virtual classes effectively for the math subject so in the google chrome you have to search open board software so once you type the open board here the website is there open board so you have to click there and in my description box i will uh, represent this link and uh, you just click on that link and it will help you for downloading the software or you can just type the open board in the search option and then uh, you are getting this uh, website and uh, here uh, if you are having windows operating system then click on download open board for windows if you have ubuntu if you have mac os then also you can install so once you click uh, you can install easily that is not the issue and i have already installed in my computer so i am not going to install and uh, you are getting one icon this one is the icon for that you just double click there and here in short i tell you how you can use this software also and it is very easy to use here the important icon is background means whichever uh, the interface you want you can just select that so i am selecting this one or you can select this one if you are producing uh, content line by line so this one i would like to use it is helpful for for making diagrams or for uh, geometry purpose it is more useful so once you do that you can close also stylus is very important option for writing so you can write here uh, you can change its thickness now whatever you will write it will be clearly visible so you can just take the size and eraser you can select and then you can remove eraser also it is in different shape different size and you can go for undo for the previous change and uh, here the important thing is that if you click on the stylus you are getting some option downside you can use any one uh, mostly uh, we use uh, this pane option means stylus option and straight line option so here uh, i tell you one very important option that is the application so in that application uh, some tools are there that is useful for the math subject you can use a ruler if you are teaching uh, how to draw the line to the student particularly for lower classes then you take this straight line option and uh, here you can draw the line easily and for moving this scale you just select the select icon and you can move anywhere suppose here now i am using a protractor uh, so you can select this so by using this as you know you can make the angle so you can place it like that and now here you need a pen for making the point you just give the dot there and for moving this you have to select the select option and uh, finally you can select here straight line here there is no need of ruler because the straight line icon is there so your angle is ready, uh, ready. then again you can join the other line also if you want to join so you can make a triangle by using this and now uh, here I, I would like to erase something so I am taking the eraser so here by using this eraser whichever the portion that you don't want you can erase easily now here I am going to use one more important option that is compass so you can take this and I just show you how you can use that 
for moving this in a position you can take the select icon or without select also you can do that so you just make its pointer here and uh, you can move it easily you can uh, change its size also like that and uh, if you want suppose here i am making uh, what we can say bisector okay so after placing it you can just draw that now in the downside i want to move this so in this way you can move easily now i want to draw this so you can draw like that now i am changing its position and again for moving you can change like this and in this way you can do it easily so here again you have to shift its position you want the bigger arc here so you have to just play with this application and it will be very helpful to you so in this way you can design it and once the work is over then you can place it or you simply close here if you don't want to use and finally you have to make a straight line so in this way you can teach to student effectively by using this application and suppose you want to minimize then here hide open board option is there then you can go to the desktop screen so i hope friend you understood how to use this application for effective teaching particularly for math subject it is more useful and other subject also you can use this so uh, i hope friend this uh, tutorial is helpful for you so thanks for watching this thank you